What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we've got more of Gabrielle from Italy's mail. So last time he picked up these fire Donovan Mitchells in the background, all graded PSA 9, all rookies. We have the optic rated rookie in the middle and two base prisms on either side of him. He's got a lot more mail today, more graded cards, some raw cards as well. So before we get into that, special shout out to my latest patrons, Jory and Juan. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you. If any of you guys would like to know what I'm buying right when I buy it, make sure to check me out on Patreon. Let's get started. Let's get into the tiny one first. Nicely packaged. Terrence Mann. Clippers. So Terrence Mann, he's, he's a rookie this year, or was a rookie this year. So he'll be a second year player next year. Centering does not look great on this card. He didn't get a lot of minutes in the playoffs, so not a lot to, to talk about with him. He did get some run in the bubble and played well, so worth noting, but he's a flyer. So let's move on to the next guy, but Terrence Mann. So Gabrielle's picking up Terrence Mann. I'll make sure to put Gabrielle's Instagram over here so that you guys can see or talk to him. Okay, so I think these are throw-ins. So I'll save the good one for last, but we have Mosaic, Drew Holiday, Dame Lillard, Patrick Ewing, Hall of Fame. I like Patrick Ewing. Langston Galloway, Dario Saric, Magic Johnson, old school insert. Cool. And this is probably what he bought. Luca My House. So this card is under $15. I'll see, I'll put what he paid up there like I always do. Um, and it's a great card to get, guys. These My House cards are really popular. And it's Luca. Can't go wrong with Luca. It's a second year card, but great pickup. Really nice pickup, Gabriel. Boom. Optic insert. Luca Doncic. This one's kind of a weirdly packaged one. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Looks like we have a Celtic. Two of them. Robert Williams the third. Both the same. Select rookies. Nice looking card. Williams, he is Tice's backup, but he also was not getting a lot of run in the playoffs so he wasn't really in the rotation but he is a guy who has promise you know big men take longer to develop and so we'll have to see we'll have to see you know what he, what he does but worth taking a chance on some of these low-end rookies so we have Terrence Mann we have Robert Williams let's get into this fancy eBay one BAM Bam Adebayo. Thank you for supporting my small business on eBay. That's nice. That's nice that eBay gives people stickers, or I don't know if he did that himself, but that's pretty cool. So, bam. Centering, good enough. Good enough. Looks a little thick on this side, but that's good enough. I'm not sure if that's too thin right there, but really nice card. It is last year's card, so not a rookie card, but a really nice card. Red, white, and blue. Bam has been going off in the playoffs, guys. He has been leading the heat. I mean, Jimmy Buckets is there too, and he's been, you know, the true leader. But as far as statistically, Bam has been killing it. And, you know, he's going to be around for a long time. Now we can see why they traded Whiteside because BAM is the real deal. Let's get in to the next one. We're cruising through these. Another BAM, this time a rookie. Optic rated rookie, 
So same as that, but not graded. I think we have some graded ones in here. Nice looking card. Centering looks good. Something to always look at. Centering does look good on this one. Maybe a little bit thicker on that side and maybe a little bit thin at the top, but I'm not sure. Looks nice. I really like the way this card looks. Nice picture, nice card, really nice. So 17, 18, and then this one was a second year, 18, 19. Another BAM. So BAM. Another BAM. Nice looking card. This one, the centering actually looks even better than that last one. So we can actually compare now. Now that I have two, we can actually compare the, kind of the top to bottom. So, I mean, they both look pretty good. If you look at how the rated rookie lines up, maybe this one's a little bit higher. So yeah, this one's a little bit thin. And yeah, at the bottom, you know, this looks better. So this one is centered better. Very nice looking cards. Really like these. He's been going off, going off. Check out some of his highlights. He can do it all. His blocks, he has some monster blocks. I'm sure you guys saw that, that monster, monster block a few um, series ago, or maybe it was the last series. It was, I think it was the Heat Sea. I think it was game one against the, um, the Celtics. Boom! Luka Doncic, PSA 9, second year prism. This is a nice looking card, guys. I wish I had one of these. I wish I had one of these. I'll put what Gabrielle paid right up there, but love this card. I've really wanted one raw. I tried, I lost all the auctions I bid on. You know, maybe I'll have some more opportunity to get you know, to get a, to get another one, but, but, so this is a nine, and, and, you know, if we look at the centering, it pretty much looks like a 10, so when you have these cards, guys, when you have raw cards, and you're like, it looks perfect, I don't see why it wouldn't be a 10, you know, you really need to check stuff, so I'm not sure why, because, I mean, I guess this is a little bit thinner than this, but, but even then, 60-40 is acceptable, so I'm not sure what exactly. I don't see any, you know, anything on the surface. Um, so, you know, what goes into this nine are four things. Corners, edges, surface, and centering. So the corners need to be sharp without showing any white on them at all. And then the edges, same thing. So if it's a colored edge and it's not a white edge, then there shouldn't be any white showing. And I really don't see any. And then surface, you know, no fingerprints, no scratches. You know, make sure you clean your cards before sending them in for grading. If you do want to send your cards in for grading, hit me up on Instagram. I send cards in for grading and they're reasonably priced and I don't have to wait to consolidate them. As soon as I get them in, I send them to PSA and I'll get them back to you as soon as PSA will allow me to. But honestly, if I was eyeballing this card, I would say, you know, it's a nine or a 10, but yeah, I, I do see the back, the centering's off there. Um, but fun fact regarding centering, the back only has to be like 75, 25 or something like that. As long as the front, whatever's worse on the front is 60, 40, then you should be good for the most part as far as centering goes. Now there are those other four things as well um, to, that go into this, but I'll leave you guys with that. This is definitely the highlight. Please smash the like button. It really helps the video out. Subscribe if you haven't, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.